Hello, what's up, you two photographer Ronnie Sweet and Natura. In this tutorial, I'll show you how can easily make your skin tones really stand out and have that nice and rich contrast in them. So, if at all you have always wanted to know why my skin tones are usually different when it comes to color grading, this is a tutorial for you. And if at all you learn a thing or two from this tutorial, I would request that you hit the like button because it is going to help the video perform better on YouTube and also. Hope you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So just request that you hit the like button on this very video. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you the simple steps or the simple ingredients that I usually add to images and make them have a better and richer skin tone within Photoshop. So I'm just going to come to the background there. So this is the step I tend to do at the end or after doing the skin retouching on images. So I'll simply duplicate the background there and if at all I have any adjustments within Photoshop, I'll simply create a stamp visible layer by simply pressing Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard if at all you, you're using Windows. And if at all you're using Mac, you can use Shift Option Command E on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer. A stamp visible layer basically is a screenshot of all the adjustments you have done below and all those layers you have involved within adjusting your photo so create that screenshot and it's going to basically merge everything beneath the layers so for my case i don't have a background layer which i've just duplicated by pressing ctrl j on the keyboard then i'll simply come so what i usually do i come to the camera roll filter or after doing the skin retouching and maybe doing the dodging and burning. So I just come to filter and I come to the camera arrow filter. So in order to make the skin tone really stand out and have that nice and richer contrast, I simply come to the color editor tool within the camera arrow filter. And what I do, I come to the luminance. So luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color. So if at all you want to handle the oranges within the image, what you're going to do, you're simply going to come to uh, the oranges. So remember, most of our skin tones fall within the orange color. So if at all you want to have a richer contrast within a given color, simply darken that given color. So for example, if at all I take the orange slider up, you can see it is going to lighten up that color and it's going to make that color lose out on the contrast. And doing the reverse is going to add contrast to the image. So I'm just going to take the orange slider just down and you can see the difference. So this is the before and after, before, after. Just look at how rich the skin tones have gotten to be within the image. So what I do, I open the image back to Photoshop. Then after I've done that, the next thing I tend to do is coming and creating a black and white adjustment layer. And with this, I simply come and change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And that blend mode, remember, usually darkens the image. Remember, we are opting or we are aiming at having a richer contrast within the skin tone. So I simply come to the opacity and drop down or reduce on the opacity up to when I feel like it is a very desirable opacity. So this is the before. And after just look at how richer the contrast has gotten to be. So what I do next, I simply come to my. So I just come down here and I come to my hue and saturation adjustment layer. So with the hue and saturation adjustment layer, what I'm going to do, I simply come and target the red. So remember, our skin tones fall between these two colors and usually skin usually has more of the oranges especially our dark skin models if at all you work more with dark skin models or models with a dark skin complexion so i'm just going to simply hit the reds and what i do i come to where you can see lightness so under lightness what i do i simply i make sure that the colorize option is not checked and i come to the lightness and like i said when you want to add contrast to the skin tone simply darken that color so I simply click on the lightness and simply drag it down and that is going to make the skin look better. So you can see the adjustment as a before, after, before, after and it has really made the skin look richer in this case. 
So the next thing I tend to do after doing all this is simply adding a tiny bit of shine or glow to the image. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to the adjustments right here and I come to the curves adjustment layer. So I simply want the highlights to pop more in this image. And I'll simply click on this handle right here and simply brighten up the image. So you take it up, up when you feel like the highlights are on a level that you want and close this so you double click on this adjustment layer and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box within photoshop so after you have done that the next thing we are going to do we're just going to come and eliminate the brightness from uh, affecting the shadow area so you can start we have the blend if tool so make sure it is or it is set to gray so we just want it we just want to take the brightness from the shadow area so we're just going to simply take this up just like that until when the brightest areas are popping more within the image so in order to refine that better you are simply going to split up these these handles remember you left click and drag them up when you feel like the highlights are really popping or shining so you hold down the option key if at all you're using mac then if at all you're using windows simply hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and simply split this so you're just going to split these triangles just like that and just simply refine them so i'm just going to come back and simply hit ok right here so you can see the before and after and it has added that nice and beautiful glow to the skin remember as we are darkening the image by taking down the darkness or the darkness value of the oranges within the skin tone it tends to make the image flat so this is going to make or add dimension to the skin and make it look a little bit more on the natural side so when you feel like the effect is too much you can simply come and take down the opacity for those highlights and you, you can say before after and when the effect is affecting the overall image you can simply select the white layer mask and simply press ctrl i on the keyboard or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect and simply come the brushes right click and get the normal brush tool and for settings make sure the hardness is set all the way to zero and it is a soft round brush and with the opacity at 100 percent flow at 100 percent we are just going to come increase on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard or you can reset that by using uh, this all the clicking on these two tiny squares and switch between black and red by using x on the keyboard so make sure white is a foreground color because white in photoshop is going to reveal and black is going to hide that is why this effect was hidden behind the black mask so in order to reveal it simply paint using a white brush in the areas that you want to have that nice glow or shine within the image so i'm just going to be grouping this pressing ctrl command g after selecting them so i'll also simply drag this into the group so this was the image that we had before and this is the after before after just look at that nice difference that we have within the image and how contrasty and well composed the skin tones have gotten to be in this case so this is what i usually do to have my skin tones really stand out within photoshop and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from Moons photography thank you for watching i see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating